Hey guys, Kevin here, Life22. Uh, banging out another book we did here on uh, the channel. We actually finished this one. Jeez, when did this one get finished? This one got finished uh, yesterday. Or really early, like 4 o'clock this morning. Yeah, 4 o'clock this morning. Yeah. Um, I had like 10 minutes left of it. Um, which was down to the last one. So this this actually book is going to get us into the the January uh, theme for the month. Um, it's not going to get us into that. I don't, I don't like to, no spoiler alerts here. Uh, but what I do want is I want you all to understand um, my doctor heard that I read books for like self-help and and like you know like hey my joints are hurting and blah 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 and so i switched diets up and all of a sudden my joints stopped hurting and there was a pile of stuff that was going on by my you know like by me reading and educating myself and actually one of the first books i listened to was dr gundry's uh diet evolution or the uh the plant paradox and then it was the diet evolution and then it was the longevity paradox. But yeah, so anyways, that wasn't in that exact order, but the first book I had listened to, one of the reasons I got an Audible was because I caught a Dr. Gundry, like, uh, ad on a YouTube podcast. Like, and it changed my life for going down the path of getting into Audible because I didn't have time to read books. Um, and now I have time to listen to books. So as you can see by one of the Raycons still in my ear, um... So it's it's kind of uh, it was one of those things, and I was telling my doctor about it. And he was and he's kind of a he's kind of a kooky guy, right? And he was like, "Oh, you need to check out this book and that book." And he recommended two books, and one of the books was the shorter of the two, and it was like six hours long. So I actually listened to it uh, most of last week and into this week, um, and it. Then I started listening to it, and I'm like, "Holy crap! This book is like, like." A cult kind of book right like this is a telemarketing scheme it's got to be but whatever i've got an open mind so this book is called the the silva the silva uh ultra mind esp system let's see if it i don't even know if it'll oh yeah it'll bring it in right there for you the silva ultra mind esp system so i started listening to it and it sounds like a cult Right, like you need to take deep breaths. Do this while you're, while you're with your eyes closed, and, and and like so they every every odd chapter is a chapter on explaining the system, how it works, and or in or a new technique using the Silva method. And then the even chapter is going to level in the Silva method. So I listen. I I already own the book. I'm gonna listen to it. Right. And I got an open mind, so I'm going to try it. Uh, but obviously, I'm super busy, and I don't have time to sit down and meditate and go to a level. Um, so I'm going to give it a whirl. So I'm letting you know that the book seems very inspiring. So, like, if you haven't read an inspiring book, something that, like, woke your ass up and said, Hey, listen, I need to, uh, I need to do something with my life. And this book was goofy enough, that's why I decided to do it in the living room. Uh, we got Miley next to us playing Fortnite. Like, and she actually put her headset on so that she wouldn't interrupt the podcast, which is so nice of her. What? What? So, but it was goofy enough that I wanted to do it in the living room. But yeah, so the ESP system, the, the Ultramind system was developed by, and thank you to Miley for writing this down, Jose Silva. Um, and so Jose Silva designed the Ultramind system, and essentially he believes that going to, there's different brainwave frequencies, given that he was, given that he was, like, into radios, or he was a radio technician back in, like, the 60s, and so he determined, he found that there was two different wavelengths of um, brainwaves given off based on the frequency. There was the alpha and the beta, and most people operate in beta, and alpha is a higher um, thinking, ev evolving, higher frequency, which means that it's, tra it's transcending more, um, it's shorter, it's a shorter wave, but it's sending more data, 
right? Like, uh, like, like, like the five, um, you know, five G on your uh, in your house. The five versus the two point four gigahertz in your Wi-Fi, right? Like the two point four travels further, but it's a slower connection. Five is shorter distances, but it's way faster. So that's it's it's very similar in what he's referring to in like the uh, the higher level of thinking, and they call it higher intelligence. And some of the different people and reps, it, since Jose Silva died in the, the, the early two thousands, late nineties, um, he uh, he is uh, he's being pre he's being predecessed by his you know his disciples, and they're talking about what's going on, right? Okay, so it it seemed nice. It seemed nice to, to think about. It was wishful. Is it? Does it work? I don't know. But I do know that this upcoming January, I'm going to try to make time for self-betterment, which I do every January. I try to jump into January with a uh, self-betterment, and I figured I would find some free time to go um, stay fit, eat healthy, um, maybe take a sabbatical from drinking. And uh, so, yeah, spoiler alert. Um, but most people don't watch the channel anyways until it comes to the month theming, so. Uh, so yeah, it's one of those things. I figured, uh, we would go and get, uh, I figured, hey, what's a little meditation going to level, right? I listened to all those even chapters, making sure that, like, oh, your eyes are closed, and blah, 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 and then you're going to you're gonna meditate into mind. I was making sure, like, no, you will send us your money. Like, they didn't say any of that stuff, so it led me to believe, okay, they've already duped you into buying the book. Maybe that was the real purpose. Or maybe this shit works. Who knows? Who knows? I'm willing to try anything, and I'm willing to experiment with stuff like that. Let's go for it, right? Uh, I got an open mind. A lot of people accuse me of not having an open mind, but whatever. They can go screw themselves because I have an open mind. So, and that's, I'm the only one I have to uh, impress. Uh, so, yeah, that was it. The Silva Ultramind ESP system. Um, there was some, like, real nice heartfelt stories in there and how they help out people and how the entire system is for the betterment of, betterment of mankind. And should not be used to do evil. It's almost like if you could use the force, but you if you went to the dark side, you lose the power of the force, right? That was kind of like what they were getting at. And um, I, until I try this, I almost don't recommend you wasting the money on the book. There's better books, like the one I reviewed last night, um, which is which by Thomas Sowell, which was a ba way better bang for your buck. Than this one, but I mean, if you got extra money kicking around, this book doesn't hurt. Hey, shit, give it a whirl. Try to find out how to go to level. In a certain light, that can sound dirty. But put your mind past that. Get your mind out of Kevin's head. And it won't be so dirty. Go to level. And we can. Make the world a better place. According to Jose Silva, that's how we do it. Go to level. So we're, I'm going to try it in the next couple months. I'll let you know. I'll report back as like a follow-up to this book review. But for the most part, the book wasn't horrible. It wasn't a waste of six hours. There was The even chapters were somewhat calming. And then they, they do this audible sound that uh, tricks your brain into the rhythm of the alpha brainwave or whatever it is and somewhat soothing so books not a thumbs up nor a thumbs down i mean obviously until tests are done and so i will follow up on this book review in the future so we'll catch you guys next time on life 22 don't forget to like and subscribe and peace out